Hey folks, Engineer775 here wanting to talk to you about uh, freezing, uh, preventing freezing in your pipes. And um, I know some people probably have experienced uh, cold like they've never experienced in the last couple of weeks, the last few days at least. And, um, and so I've heard about houses flooding, um, and that's a bummer this time of year when your house floods out, especially if you're not there and can't shut the water off. Um, why does that happen? Um, how does it happen? Um, there's some simple things that you can do. I don't, I'm not going to go into everything, but I wanted to talk to you about you know why pipes or how pipes freeze, and these are some general general guidelines. I just got a, some plumbing here, piece of PVC pipe. And this could be copper, PEX. It doesn't matter. You know, there's CPVC. Just this is for illustration purposes. When um, pipes are exposed and they're not insulated or not buried deep enough or um, under a house or in a crawl space and somebody forgot to shut the vents and you have wind whipping underneath your home, um, these pipes can be exposed. And when they do freeze, um, what happens is, say this area of the pipe is frozen, frozen solid, that might not break that pipe right there. The expansion of that ice within that pipe, what does it do? Well, it actually sends, it, it actually starts pushing as ice expands, water expands when it freezes, of course. It'll go in either direction. And what that does is increase the pressure. There's a pressure spike in the pipe. Now, if that's not relieved, what happens is typically, even if the ice forms here, the pipe can bust here. And that's usually what happens because the pressure is building. You know, there's a shut off here. And so between that ice and the shutoff, you've got a pressure spike building and it'll blow out where there's not ice, where, the, where there is still water. And so a lot of people say, should I leave my faucets, spigots running at night dripping? And sometimes I say yes, depending on the situation. If you have to do that, then the pipes are not insulated or protected enough. But if you know that they're not, that can be a very smart thing to do is to leave the spigot open. Just let it drip. And it's not so much that you're letting water flow through to keep ice from forming, but you're giving a place for the pressure to be relieved. It's like a pre you're using your spigots in your home as a pressure relief valve. You know, here's some pressure relief valves that are standard that would go in, in your system either on your bladder tank or some other place in the system depends on everybody's system is different but these you know these are standard 75 psi pop-off valves and there's a spring in there so when the pressure builds in the line it'll actually allow pressure water to come out in this in this area here um, there's some manual ones too I've used these and they're really cool you need a pair of pliers really to turn them but you're adjusting the pressure on the spring and uh, these can be used for divert diverters this is really cool I've been playing around with these with a ram pump I haven't shown you that yet where you can actually fill a tank and then once the tank is pressurized to the amount that you set manually then the overflow will go to a higher or another area that's kind of cool but these fail safes are so important in your system um, and if you don't have them in your system yes you can turn on your spigot at night when it's super cold and you know you're going to be in trouble you don't want to wake up to busted pipes just crack that and let that drip just a little bit and that will relieve the pressure because this might be completely frozen and still not break the pipes, especially when it comes to like pecs and things that are super tough. They can be frozen solid and won't bust it. But the pressure spike as that ice expands in there will blow out. So let that let that uh, water drip in, in some of the faucets in some areas in your home that you just haven't protected well. Of course, insulation, not letting convection, not letting wind. Um, that's the worst is letting cold air come across the plumbing and it just removes the heat causing it to freeze and you're in serious trouble so obviously um, you know weather's changing a lot um, pipes not might not be buried deep enough you know you can uh, you can help that if you know that maybe around your well head or whatever you can just take and heap up leaves put tarps over you know think ahead and cover these areas um, with snow snow is a great insulator um, and just cover things up but if you can't do it or if you just don't you know you're not able to do it you can go to the bathroom and open crack open that spigot and just relieve the pressure in that area of the house that is susceptible to being cold open up cabinets let heat get to the pipes anything you can do run you know try to you know keep the house nice and warm of course 
Um, but block off those vents in, in the basement, the crawl spaces. Um, those can really cause a lot of problems there. So I hope that explains what happens um, when pipes freeze and how they bust, why they bust, and what you can do, simple things you can do to prevent that. Uh, fail safes, don't forget your fail safes if you're doing new systems or you're sick of pipes breaking in the same place and you don't know what to do. Put some pressure relief valves in there and uh, that can really save you some headache down the road. Okay, um, I think that's it. I hope, uh, I hope this didn't happen to you uh, during this cold snap. You know, winter's just started, so maybe this is uh, helpful for somebody out there, at least understanding the, the, the principle on how pipes freeze. Engineer 775, signing off. concept so wouldn't it be cool light a match light a fire make enough power to run a home or or at least zero out your power bill and again something that can run rain or shine 24 7 and it might be a great addition to your solar or your already your, your current backup 